With our heads together, we had the same dream. Moon down in the window of a train, going 85 under the streetlights, empty freeway in the middle of the night. I'll let you DJ, leave your seat back in the mud, get car seats.
Hello, hello, everyone. Let me look into everything here. Leave team should now be corrected. And we're gonna be ready to go. My Revenge versus Team Vortex CE. First round of the first map of this best of three. First on Vortex's pick of Nuke here. Vortex going for the sneaky ninja B bomb site plant with the vent drop down. Lower controls obtained. Regan able to find Fruity though. 
We've said a 5v2 with Freza finding a second, leaving Longhone and Perf the only two left remaining, as Perf's now left in a 1v5. Able to get the first and the second and a third! Party in a 1v2 now! Bomb left in safe position and he's gotten another! Bomb being stuck, the fuse will get in in time. But party with the full ace clutch, that'll be good econ built up for the third round. Though, just realized that... Uh, looks like I got the mess corrected. Alright. Difficulty side, it's Revenge GG with the first round, despite the full 5k found from Team Vortex. However, with that, a force has been found. Opening trades in a 3v3 situation, Dinero has been able to take ramp control. Leaving it a 3v2 situation here. However, the bomb and the control room has been obtained at least for a second until Party's been able to take him down. Letting Regan catch a surprise and get two with good spray control with the MP9. Leaving it a 1v1 situation of Seam against Regan here. Be done for the adjustment here. Both players holding the opposite side around the hut here. But as time's ticking, the bomb's left near Syme, and only 30 seconds left remaining here. Syme could be seen by Regan here, but he's caught looking the wrong way. So Regan's actually repositioned deep inside the vent here to catch the rotate, and will be able to spray down Regan with a 3k to clutch the second round for Revenge GG. As we go into the third now, with that force, Team Vortex now forced to eco after not getting away with the round here. Able to get a half buy and have some utility with some tech nines. Other various pistols, see what they want to go for here. And it looks like a ramp rush will be the option here. It'll be up to Zulu to hold against the ramp. Good utility damage. We'll carry them down early. It's up to Fraser to hold the eco rush. Only able to get two, and Fruity and Longholm around the map have been able to find openings here as they explode and make an A bomb site split here with the picks given to them. That's bomb site control obtained for Wartex here, long home going for the bomb plant here. It'll be the CTs and a 3v3 retake on the A bomb site here. And Stimpy able to slide out through the HUD smoke and find one in the process here. We get a 1v2 here, however, De Niro was cleared out while trying to get the outside player. Two CTs will remain here. Time being spent to actually recover rifles in the process here, but Revenge GG to safely get a third with at least two alive. Win. And it'll be Revenge GG with the third round. With it, first or second full buy coming in for Team Wartex here as we go into the fourth round. Ben Shiji starting to have not much economy built up because good economy damage from this T side. Zulu, the good cash, good nade from Stempy will be able to do damage. Both players are able to trade down to about equal HP here. And outside control obtained with a full wall of smokes here. Or with that, only one smoke remaining. And Shuby's going aggressive for the info here, able to find the first. Trying to run away. Is up the smoke on the first throw, but gets it on the second here. Nade will dissuade the rush here. Should be able to hold on after getting the man advantage for Team Vortex here. Revenge GG player. Fresa taking a risk though, but getting rewarded for it. Getting away with the frag. 
Zanero able to get the trade before getting full flash. We still have a four on three situation here. Revenge GG in favor here. For this round, lots of map control obtained. However, Shuby has given up a little bit of control here. Could find an opening. Found information on one of the CT on one of the T players pushing towards the decon room. Looks like the bomb is going back up for the A site, trying to have the CT split, so it's a two on two take here. Rudy's able to get one before getting traded out by Stimpy. Be up to Stimpy here as he hears the two rotating players going to this A site here. Make sure not to give them any opportunities and go for a proper three on two retake here. Able to save three weapons for the economy if they retake successfully is far more valuable here. Stimpy able to get the successful trade and assign, leaving it a 2v1 situation here. Shuby still in the ramp room. Slow for the rotate, but plenty of time on the clock as this bomb starts ticking down here. De Niro left alone, isolated inside the hut here. Player split, split. De Niro's not able to separate the duels. Shuby's able to trade him out effectively and clutch the defuse and his revenge GG with a 4-0 start on the CT side of the opponent's pick of new. Continue on here. Got another full buy due to that bomb plant and loss bonus from Team Vortex here. However, Revenge GG has been able to scavenge up a full buy of their own. A little bit weaker utility and a FAMAS on Stimpy, but decent situation despite only converting one player alive at the end of the round here. With it, the wall of smoke seen fake being too deep and Frieza able to see over the smokes here. With that, players still stacked on this A site here. Regan failing to get the second on the transfer here. But she has been able to rush behind from the ramp room and find one. However, trades have effectively been done in the chaos here, leaving a 2v2 situation. However, the off angle of one of the players here, not Freza, towards the off angle here, will be able to catch the hut player by surprise. Not yet shooting, waiting for information on the second T player before taking him down. With that squeaky door info, Shuby's able to catch him from behind, from rotating through outside. Revenge GG, keep alive. A 5 to nothing streak. Two weapons su successfully converted into this next round. See how things continue here. As it's another full buy, as Team Vortex are able to keep getting bomb plants down. However, they need to start collecting rounds here. Be able to break the T CT economy the second they do so. However, little sign of them doing that just yet. An early opening on Shuby though, could be just what they need here. There's four other players stacked towards ramp here. And another opening towards Freze. Found towards Longholm, tagging him down. And the solo ramp player is able to take it out as well. And seem able to take down Freze with confidence. And with that, CT is likely to save and Vortex to get their first round here. The bomb goes down on the B-bomb site here. Regan Stimpy left to save here. Uh, we're looking for engagements here. Regan able to find one. It looks like both are leaving to try to save towards T-spawn at this point. Willing to take the risk with the streak they've gotten so far. We'll need these weapons to be able to contend in the next round. The Wartex finally with their first round on the board. Revenge GG economy being reset. However, two weapons saved and tossed over. Should be a mix of rifle and SMG by Wartex just needs to find some openings again in the next round to be able to cleanly take a bomb site and continue their streak here. Be up to Revenge GG to try to upset that. With that force now coming in, looks like some MP9s purchased up and handed over. 
And forced out just coming in, just frez it, saving, likely for a future off purchase for their team. Which we'll see. MP9 stacked on top, MP9 on top of the hut here. Actually playing towards outside near credit card, actually. Interesting MP9 position. Something you'd usually see. And it looks like it's a similar ramp take being set up for once again here. Bring towards the heaven. There's no one holding towards ramp room here. Just two players stacked towards the B site. Preza just now with the Deagle rotating for info here as they're going for the ramp control here. The player's been seen here. And Dinero takes him down with the first shot here. Has info towards the second. Hardy rushes him down, taking down Zulu. Nice and clean, making it a three on five situation here for Revenge GG. Vortex with the B bomb site as well in a good situation again. Their second round on the board. And now just the same two rifles saved once again for Revenge GG. For one of them stuck on the decon site of Regan. Of Snippy is taken down, leaving Regan the only remaining rifle here. So they're going to go to a save next round. Able to get second and a third now. And able to pick up an AK safely in the process here. Though likely need go round. Difficult for Revenge GG to do anything. Some good frags on the scoreboard. Least damage the economy of Vortex GG. Dying them from having a clean run on this streak so far. And Seam will be able to take Regan down as he hunts for more exit frags here. Meaning no weapons saved up. Should be little damage other than the strength of the AK not being available. Even if it was saved in this next round. That will see how Revenge GG plan to adjust on their next pull by here. As they're stuck with an eco pistol. No nade stacks or anything cheesy. Just USBs and a single deagle on Regan after all those... Exit frags on Team Vortex. With it, it looks like standard control working towards outside being given. Seem, after getting slightly tagged by the USB, decides to give up his position and walk towards outside. Through the normal road positions. Doing a very slow contact here. Be willing to treat it like an anti-eco, mauling between, behind Red Crate. Seem holds for a push here that's unlikely to come in. However, one opening's been given to him as Shuby's been desperate for the information here. Something to give to Team Revenge. Enough giving Revenge GG a round. Or a death of one of their own. Or it looks like Team Vortex are continuing to lean towards this B ramp heavily. Bit of bait, however, the solo outside player of Seam has been taken out, and that's an AK picked up once again for Revenge GG here. Stimpy likely in a position situation to save it with his two teammates being low, however, looks like he's holding towards the steer stairs to find more exits with his team once again. Sulu unlikely to connect here, though Longhorn caught looking the wrong way. Shots will not connect though. Longhorn able to save with one point of HP. And Party looking for information here will find Stempy and take him out as well. Successfully, no weapons saved and Team Vortex with their third round on the board. New gap here and Frizza immediately with the op purchase up. For Revenge GG on their CT side here. There will still be a full rifle setup on Team Vortex. No snipers coming out here. A little bit weak on the utility but an effective enough full buy coming out for Revenge GG here. It will be difficult for them to dissuade these ramp pushes that have been coming in. But that doesn't matter as the strategy has changed here. A familiar rat maneuver of a player dropping towards the vent here. Zulu will be the one looking for him and taking contact on it. So Regan maintain squeaky at this point. Meanwhile, the rest of Team Vortex working on obtaining outside control. Be setting up for a wall of smokes here to cross. They actually intend to follow them here. Likely going to play around the lurk they have in under right now. Long home. Zulu playing a passive position here. Not get info anytime soon. However, just starting to look for that information here. Does it make sounds at any point here? Should be towards the back of the garage. We'll have info on their position here. Ramp safely held by Freza. Freza is able to rotate here as soon as Zulu gets contacted. Just a moment here. 
You're seeing multiple T's in just a moment here. Has to hold this window room here. Longholm preeming his position here. Trying to throw out a nade to hold away the position, but gets taken down by Longholm. Leaving it a 4v5 situation here. Same with the Lurk here. Able to find one and a double. Denying the rotates, making it a 2v4 situation here. Offer safely taken down by Party after finding one. Leaving Shuby the last remaining alive and Team Wartech starting a streak here with B bombsite takes. And their fourth round on the board. See how Revenge UG can adjust so far to these different takes being used to get control of the B site. Maybe too much control being given up. Possibly even duels being lost here. Team Wartex seemed to have recovered and gone back alive here. Up to Shuby to save. Safely hiding towards the control rooms, able to surprise. Right below heaven. Only able to find one, however, before being eliminated. Likely be a half buy with some pistols coming out for revenge. GG here. A little bit of money and a high loss bonus after Team Vortex finding a four round streak here. With that, we have the dangerous Deco coming out for revenge. GG here. Players with some big moments here and with these opportunities outside here. Not a full wall of smokes currently down at the moment. Could give openings for Revenge GG for these duels here. Depending on how they're taken here. Seem able to get info on the first, take him down. Longholm's able to respond on to Regan here. Able to dodge his shots, find down Zulu and Trudy able to take down the last two remaining players. And Vortex have even the score 5-5 five five on their map pick of two. See what happens as we continue on here. Porn key full buy for both these teams. Vortex building up tons of money at this point. 6 to 10k on all of their players. Give them a good full buy for multiple rounds. Revenge GG have to keep up the streak once again just to break the economy of Vortex. Ignoring the full buys allowing them carry. Carry more money into the next rounds. Vortex could have enough money for full buys for the rest of this half year. Could have more rounds underway. Fruity and Party have found one each. Stimpy just now finding a trade. The aggression being punished until just now. Nade will finish him off. However, long delays will leave a minute 15 left in the clock and bomb dropped in the control room. And Fresnet able to take one with the USP and just white swing into Sim. And still have the bomb control, leaving it a 2v1 situation in favor of Revenge GG here. Freza holding towards the position Longholm's pushing here. Might be a 3k for him. So he gets the third. And Freza to get Revenge GG out of trouble from the risk taken and get them their sixth round and maintain the lead on Vortex in this first half. So we see him continue on here. Despite that, only two players alive, at least one player will be left, and it'll be Regan in this case, left with just an MP9 here. Let's see how he decides to adjust to the situation, Fresno playing outside with the op here. Not be able to find any openings outside early. Be sure to deny any pushes, and it looks like a ramp set up from Vortex once again here. And already aggression towards the control room. That Stimpy is setting up for looking for an information or the opening on his players. And same thing from Zulu, able to find one towards the ramp here. Party able to rotate and catch Stimpy on the push, as well as Fruity. However, Frez is holding back these ramp players, able to get one and a second, and pushing past the fire to maintain the hold. Missing a shot will get him punished and taken down by De Niro, leaving a 2v2 situation here. B bomb site in control of Team Vortex. Only one round lost on this B bomb site from the pistol round here. Barely taken away, and Molly will force Shuby into De Niro here. We're in a 1v2 situation for Regan here, which has had excellent break control with the MP9. However, will not be good enough at this range as De Niro will safely take him out. And Vortex UG to even up the score once again at 6 to 6. Rounds being close, aggression being read too hard for the moment. Ben GG giving too many opportunities here, possibly. Freze unable to get them out of that round. 
Or it looks as we continue here, it'll be seen with an op now. Be picked up from the opponent's side here. Be able to find an opening onto one of the first pistols and the second, turning this into a shooting gallery. Though giving them the engagements while he's stuck alone here. With the flashbang, he'll double chain, he'll double check and change his mind. Trying to get back and hold as they keep pushing towards him here. Pistol shots all fortunately missing towards him here, giving no openings. Holds passively towards T-spawn here. Get any information towards him, and it'll be ramp control once again, taken by Team Vortex here. Regan left alone, or actually has a teammate here, Chibi and Stimpy, together towards this B site here. However, bombs left behind control room outside. So with the minute left on the clock, time's starting to become an issue here. Information fully towards this ramp's been obtained. Party likely to head that direction with the bomb to bring it to the B bomb site. However, with Sippy and Regan towards this position, could give an opportunity here. However, they decided to go towards A, leaving Shuby left alone here, only able to find one. That will be the A site safely taken. With these other two players stacked towards the wrong site. Be another safe round for Team Vortex GG, or at least should be. We're seeing missing some off shots, finally connecting, leaving one remaining player. Still missing, however, Zanero will be able to get him out of danger. And Team Vortex with seven rounds. That's still weak, weak econ or one or two of the revenge GG players here. However, it's fine. Teammates able to save enough to toss him over the AWP. With that, a key final last buy of the half here. Then GG need this round if they want to end with a win and a half. Otherwise, not only will they be behind, but with a lower economy, could be stuck with six rounds going into the T-side and nuke, which is never something you want to end up saying. That heavy at disadvantage will be important for Shuby to find an opening on one here. Two more trying to push around the smoke here. Dinero able to take him out here, trying to find an opening here with some spam. However, Fresh is able to take him away as well as the smoke as it fades. With that 4v3 situation in favor of Revenge GG here, it's up to Zulu to anchor here the opening. Able to get the first here, avoid the first shot of the opera on the second here, and flashbang him off the angle here. Nade for harassment as well, bring him down just about as low as party, both players towards half HP at this point. Regan carefully giving some good discipline, holding an off angle here, just mauling off. The back of the ramp forcing Vortex to wait even longer here. 45 seconds left in on the clock now. Both players stacked together towards the ramp here. Seems able to clear out the first and find an opening on second Regan here. And no one towards the B site right now. So an opening's been found for Team Vortex to seal this round away. Up to Stimpy and Frezza to try to do a retake here. And seems gone aggressive and found another one. A third for him in this round. Looks like Vortex will be able to possibly steal this round away through Seam. Leaving Stempy in a 1v2 situation here and Seam holding towards his position. So the door is open and the smoke fades and Team Vortex in a good position to win the first half 9-6 on their map choice going to the CT side. be a dream situation coming in for them here. So they should be able to convert the first map in their favor here off of this. With a good lead, unless Revenge GG have just as many tactics as planned. Now we're on the early side of this first half, the map control and obtaining the B site many times, giving a good situation to the Team Vortex. We'll see what can be done here. Seam looking for outside control on his own. Could give an opening. A little bit of nade harassment damage, bringing party down to 80 HP. Sim's been already tagged to 51 as well. HP in favor of Revenge GG. We're still early on the round here. Outside control just Starting to be worked on by Seam. A minute left on the clock here. 
smoke will do worries here. However, Party's found an opening towards A site here. Looks like the team will follow up off of it here as Party's found a second. Longhelm's been punishing a rotate from behind. Party with the third now. A lot of star performances from Team Vortex here. As Rudy will be able to plant the bomb and take the last remaining player as he tries to give away some tracers through many. Team Vortex with a 9-6 lead as we go into the second half here of Vortex's map pick of Nuke. Revenge GG seem unprepared for Team Vortex's T side nuke here and now have to try to come back on the T side. Let's see if there's any parts of the defense that can get exploited for revenge long enough to bring a comeback into this here. Though it looks like an A explosion here will be the play here. And with that, a quick smoke towards Mini and flashbangs to run out here. Longholm try to take the First engagement. Flashbang will deny him. However, he runs through and finds two with the re-engagement here. Leaving only two players remaining on the site here. Zulu able to take one down in the process here. However, with info of both these players here, this nade's going to do lots of heavy damage here. Actually, only bringing them both down to round 60. And Zulu finding a quick headshot, leaving a 2v1 situation as Regan takes the last two remaining players. Revenge GG to take away the pistol. And with that pistol taken away, Revenge GG with a clutch. Once again, once again, it's both pistols taken away in their favor here. You need to be able to be sure to convert and continue with that lead to make sure to keep a good contest against Team Vortex here as they've shown significantly more con uh, contentment on the full buys here. See what Revenge GG can do here with the second round force. Eagles and Scout in play. Spam towards Seam. It appears to be mostly ramp control again. And is it able to find a gap and find one? Zoo will be able to respond with the trade. But not before the wheel has been taken down here. And a few more tags with this Deagle found. To Stempy to try to upgrade. Like I was mistaken, it was actually a Mac 10. The Ghoulil's on Frezza. With Fat, be the three Deagles and the Scout, and a full safe smoke wall. So you don't jump or give too much information here. Should be able to save Crossley here. No Scout shots connecting, and quick rush to the B bomb site here. Only party nearby to try to find some players. Be able to find one, despite the entire team of Team Vortex here. Being on the engagement, or Revenge GG rather. With that here, V Regan is successfully clear out some of the B bomb site, leaving the last player towards ramp, and Steam Stemply will cleanly take him out. And Revenge GG now only one round behind Team Vortex here. As we continue on here with round 18 of our first map of new here. Looks like it'll be a quick A play here. Spam from Stimpy here connecting towards many bling, bring Longholm down to 27 and Chubby holding the vent here. We'll be able to take down one of the first pistols here. Leaving it to a five on three situation here. Lost my eyes for a second. Longholm's taken down and the two remaining pistols. Only Deagle left remaining. Sim's been able to find a Mac 10 through the vent that's been remaining. However, Regan holding behind will safely take that out of his hands. And Revenge GG have even the scoreline once again at 9 to 9 here. See if pace can be kept up. Ops for both sides here. With even score lines and full buys, will be a key round here for the 19. Looks like Seam using an off angle for an outside push. They do without wall smokes here. 
And should we run out early and get into the vent once again here? That's early B site control given to him. HUD slightly bugged. Man is carrying the loss. Dorky will be hurt though. Be mollied out of his position here. Has a smoke to save himself, however, will burn in the molly. For with that and the panic rotation, it seems caught looking the wrong way, and an opening's been found to rotate onto this B site. Two players on this rotate due to the early aggression. Found, however, Rudy able to find the first and Regan taking the other remaining player, leaving it a 4v2 situation in favor of revenge GG here on the B bomb site. For with player running away from Decon to go for the save here, they will not tag him. Likely for the better here, saving his life. So we have both players holding towards outside. Planning to go towards CT spawn for the save here. Off angle for De Niro as Longholm tries to hold a crossfire with him here. Setting up to punish any exits if anyone tries to go for any. So it looks like Revenge GG are mostly content. However, Regan's hunting for an opportunity and will get what he asks for. Still be able to find the trade, leaving one remaining player. However, the T's won't go for any more, making sure three players save their weapons. Wanting to make sure they're doing a good job to build up that economy. If only one rifle saved up, it'll be difficult to argue a four situation, though it still might be done for Team Vortex here. Though it looks like it'll be a half buy with Deagles and Light Utility. Mostly HE setting up for an ar artillery strike here. If the timing's found right here, could connect onto Revenge CT here. However, looks like they're able to go outside safely. Nades have been burnt and many smoked off. It'll be outside control to allow for the safest engagement against these deagles they can get. Should be able to quickly respond here, conscious of the idea of long home being towards that angle. Sulu making sure the control room is still held. Successfully, should be failing to connect the frag. Regan will be able to save his life. Should be so willing to go in for more, finds another. As Regan plays around with him and gets a second for himself. Has information on the last remaining player here. De Niro trying to take someone down. Be able to get Shuby and the second onto Regan as they line up. We go 1v2 here. And Frizza just with just a Deagle be able to take him down safely. And at least two weapons saved for Revenge GG here. As they maintain the lead 11-9. Be the next full buy coming up for Team Vortex. If they don't convert this full buy, could be their own map pick ending up starting to slip away from them. Despite starting with a lead on the CT side of 9 to 6. See what they can do here as it appears Zulu is going for ramp control here. Preza missing the early ramp rush outside, towards many rather. It'll be party to be able to trade onto Shuby and find a second onto Stempy. So he's able to respond, taking down his teammate Denaro, giving it a three-on-three -three situation here. The party will not connect, fortunately for Zulu. So he is vulnerable enough, and Nade could take him down. How repositioning and finding some space here outside mini could catch a heaven player. Heaven player safely dodges it, so he's able to punish him on the repeat here. Up to parties, he founds four, going for the ace here. This is a 1v2 situation for Frezzy here. Party one kill short of the ace. Fruity to try to play with him and go for the trade here. Waiting and it looks like Party will be trying to go for the first contact here. It's control room that has been taken by them. With that door opening, Frezzy has reset his position. Bomb planted open for him here. Leaving it safe to set up here. He's able to tap down the player and get him off the bomb here. And take away party. Denying the ace and likely denying the round away from Vortex. Reza with a 1v2 clutch. To save Revenge GG from party's antics. With it Revenge GG now up three rounds ahead. And with a full buy. Vortex are left with a half buy. And down four rounds after Revenge GG if they successfully convert this. So 
So we'll just have to see as seems going aggressive early for contact here. The tracer information is able to get a one tap towards Zulu. Then get a four on five situation here. Say unable to find an early trade to respond here. Leaving a man advantage for Team Wartex here. No map control game for Revenge GG. See as it continues on here. Towards the hut as well. Trying to reasonably safely dispose of the AK so it's not as obvious here. Looks like as we continue, ramp control's been given. Shuby with the panic 180 flick. Able to take down Fruity here. Leaving the remaining four pistols trying to rotate towards this B bomb site here. Shuby being first point of contact, able to get behind these players here. Being careful not to peek in case Seam is ready. And once Regan takes the duel, safely taking him out. And De Niro long hold the last two deagles remaining here. With those eagles having little utility and economy starting to be built up on this revenge GG side, could be just looking for some exits here. Though it looks like Prez has been taken down. Long Holmes been able to find one. However, the other side of the exits, Regan's been able to take out safely. And with that, the other three teams will be leaving. However, one of them risked trying to get in contact with Long Holmes, giving him a second frag for the round and an AK. That'll be some good economy save. Having an AK on the CT side for the next full buy coming in just now. For with that, only three rounds needed for Revenge GG to take away Vortex's map pick. For a very dominant T side so far on Nuke. Vortex GG appearing to have an even stronger. A even more difficult situation trying to adjust to revenge GG revenge GG Being even stronger with how soon they've been able to take a lead off of team vortex here playing off of the pistol win With that being the case here Fresno is looking for contact information outside be a very passive hold by Sim, and then just long home playing towards Mini here. Though, looks like with the current situation here, Sim's been able to get a bit of info and harass towards the outside to suppress these players. Be up to Fruity to try to anchor the ramp position here. As the wall of smokes are thrown to see how Team Vortex decides to adjust here. Prez is able to find an opening as Sim is distracted by the smoke while the smoke's being thrown and Prez is able to find a second and should be finding an opening into the A bomb site as well. Leaving only one remaining player, De Niro, to be taken out by Stimpy. Leaving a 4v1 situation. Revenge GG putting themselves in the situation to break Vortex's economy once again and get map point in just a moment as after they successfully convert this round. Only two rounds away from after this round win, bomb exploding. Ben GG being up a map up in the best of three and going to their own pick of Dusty that With that we know how volatile the sides can be and with Vortex already preemptively picking the CT side here Jin GG keeps that confidence up in the second map here. Could be a dominant T streak and a 2-0 for Revenge GG in the this second round upper bracket match here. So they can't recall this upper bracket. Apologies there. For second round of playoffs in general here. For all of us here. It looks like it's a desperation mini rush here. Seem able to get one. Regan will be able to get the trade though. Finding a second, De Niro able to keep it even 3-3 three to three and get Hut back for himself here. However, his position is getting cleared out. He's getting chased to the control room here, Zulu taking him down. Bomb left at the back of outside though, leaves an awkward situation here. Bomb's not in their control, however only one player remaining and Stempy will safely take him out. Ben GG on map point on Team Vortex's pick a nuke. 
despite only getting six rounds on their CT side, have turned it into 15. Vortex failing to get a single round on the CT side. And with that being the case here, looks like accidentally a swap was early. And with the weaker weapons of the FAMASs and MP9s, that Revenge GG were able to successfully convert that final round. And we'll be going to the next map of Dust 2 in just a moment. When you see the lights fading in the night, know that I'm fine alone. I'll be running for the skyline, sun in my eyes. No music, but I'm dancing. I'll be running, 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 I'll be running.
Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to map two of our second series, of our first and only series for today, rather. Make sure scores are updated appropriately here. You start map two of Revenge GG's pick of Dust 2. They'll be starting on the T side here. Dangerous map to be playing on a CT side. Vortex had a decent struggle to get any rounds on their CT side of Nuke. So we'll see if they, we can do any better on the CT side of Dust 2. It looks like it'll be a dangerous situation. Revenge GG already out on this B site here. And able to get potentially get site control here. Openings found. De Niro able to get two, leaving it a three on four situation here. Bomb yet to go down as it's stuck on the triple box foot. With that bomb plant just going down, and CT's pushing through the smoke here to find openings here. Able to take down all three players, but not before the bomb plant has gone through here. And Vortex to get their first CT round in the series. With four players still left alive. You're tuned in to at Phoenix CS League. Sure to check us out and follow on Twitch as well as on Twitter. Currently hearing at Trevor Victress. Me on Twitter and Twitch at the same socials as well. Round two goes underway here. Looks like everyone safely crosses to the B bomb site as intended for Vortex. They decide Revenge GG plan to work towards mid control early here. Get it for free, it appears, with very passive positions here. For with the force coming up for Revenge GG, it's a dangerous situation here, especially with control gotten all the way up to short here. Nade will punish Preza, but otherwise, a lot of map control gained by Revenge GG here. With that and a lack of information here, if Longholm is found exposed here by Shuby in just a second here, that tag going through here makes this B site far more exposed here. For three players still stacked towards this A site here, and long control from De Niro here playing towards the pit. Leave a good situation here for Vortex to try to hold on to this A site as the execute now comes in. Be up to Sim and Party. Pulling from the goose position. Now he's taken down instantly. Praise it, taken down the second, and that's a bomb site left in control. De Niro able to hold from long and catch one. Taking the duels. Bombs planted for catwalk. Trying to avoid the shots. De Niro's able to tap down both Regan and Shuby, leaving it a 1v3 situation. Brought down to two as Tempe has found the cat rotate here. Bomb planted for him here. Failing to connect on the first, being brought down to 52 points of HP here. Able to catch one, being taken out here. Simfo, De Niro trying to bait him out here. Able to still be alive, dodging the bullets here. De Niro still baiting, with time waiting. Stimpy able to clutch the round here. And Revenge GG take away the second with the force. De Niro might die to the bomb here as well. It does. There'll be no weapons brought over to the next round here. Revenge GG have stolen away the second early. Let's see how Vortex GG decides to adjust here. Looks like they're risking with a very dangerous force and response. But we'll see what happens here as we continue. Looks like a long execute. It Control safely obtained here. Shuby cleanly taking down party. Next contact taken. Shuby clean with these taps here. Towards the site here. Zulu able to find another one towards mid. Catching the rotates. And Shuby turning the CTs into his shooting gallery. Knocking the ducks in a row. Finding three. Leaving Fruity the last remaining player that was able to take down Zulu. And maybe attempting to try to save this AK. Believe he's towards T spawn. See, as Freze will be the first to take the engagement, will take him down safely with the armor. With that, Revenge GG are up two to one on their map choice of Dust Two on the T side. Vortex still broken in economy. We'll have to save here, allowing Revenge to build even more rounds on this T side. 
after the first map going the way of Revenge GG, after Wartex getting nine rounds ahead of the six in the first half on Nuke, and failing to get a single CT round afterwards, uh, emotional factors could come into play here. It'll take a strong mindset to be able to turn around this early disadvantage that Revenge GG have put them into. That being the case, Revenge GG also likely to become confident, but seeming not to be overconfident here, making sure not to take any unneeded risks going for this control to take the A bomb site here. After you take the engagement, trying to play around the smoke to trade some damage here. Harassment tags will find some targets here. However, Frez is able to respond and take one down and a second. And as Revenge GG pushes in, Vortex likely to be washed out momentarily as they get wiped out. Only one remaining. And De Niro able to take down one in the process and avoid the HE. That would be one AK taken away from the hands, but Chibi will simply replace the wheel for that. Not too much money lost for this T side. That De Niro just trying to get away and at least deny the frag onto him. Going all the way around from CT to T spawn. Her with that, T's holding safe towards long here. No opportunities will be provided to De Niro here. So we still wait for the time to tick. Only five seconds left remaining on the bomb. Goes De Niro looking a little bit more for info here. Could potentially see the players as he pushes through long here. For Regan's prepared and takes him out safely. Then GG up three to one. First full by coming out for Team Wartex here. However, with the situation and with the forces, no op to be brought out on the CT side. Be an AUG on Longholm, but just a FAMAS on Fruity. Fruitly. See how the CTs decide to adjust here, going aggressive for long control here. However, it's another B stack quietly being set up here with the contact play. Even running through the molly here. However, despite having the info, it's too late. B site already obtained. Long home late to do this retake, and it's a 4v4 situation. B site being planted for Revenge GG. And Team Vortex far more, far less prepared to be in a situation to be able to push through the smokes as the bomb goes down. Then GG able to hold them off and having stacks and stacks of utility. And we'll hold the safe. CT's already forced to save Revenge GG with a fourth round now. Just momentarily. Tech's playing very safe to make sure they save these rifles for the next round. Make sure they can successfully convert. Ben GG doing a good job exploiting this B site so far. The Regan actually going for the engagements towards T spawn here. Potentially get more than what he's bargained for, but decides to stop with the engagement. Before rifle save for both teams going into the sixth round here. Revenge GG up four to one in the second map with a map lead against Team Wartex here. Still another opportunity for Team Wartex to convert the full buy. However, hopes likely fading as time continues here. We'll see what Team Wartex can do. Stimpy's been able to get out long early here, get the first and the second. Actually fails to get the second. Sprays recovered, and Stein's able to get one before getting traded out, and De Niro's only able to get one on the trade as well. Meanwhile, Regan's been able to push through short, meanwhile the long chaos, and get the A site under their control. With that, it'll be a 2v3 retake for Team Vortex to try to get a second round on the board, or be thrown into another eco. Nade will be good, but not enough to finish off Zulu here. It brings him down to 25. And with that jump peek, Zulu will instantly take him out, punishing the information play. Leaving Fruitly left in a 1v3 with just an MP9 on short. And despite having little to do with the situation, will just attempt to save what little he has. And just bring it on to the next round to try to earn some bonus money for his team going on to the future. Make sure to smoke along, we'll make... 
the push to try to get exits. Not safe at all for Fruitly here, though it looks like he might decide to still do so. Still pushing through, hunting for info here. Trying to look for one of these players. It will be too slow to find any of them towards the long pit. B Revenge GG with a 5-1 lead now. Full five round streak after taking away a second round of the force by here. Team Wartech still not finding a way to respond here. The lost bonus is another full buy. And a timeout call strategies for Team Wartex here. Figure out how to adjust. So they have had no answers to hold any torch up to Revenge GG. Revenge GG have always been winning their duels and positioning correctly. Take these engagements, get map control, get bombs down, and force Team Wartex to save for multiple rounds in a row now. Likely to see Team Wartex do something aggressive here, possibly, and try to take a risk to get some surprise picks to be a man ahead or two. So we'll see what they end up doing here. As now an op has been purchased up, or rather being carried on for it. As it continues to be. And it could deny any aggressive pushes from these rifles here and hard punish them. Depending on the move made. So we keep on waiting. Revenge GG. Despite slipping up uh, a pistol. Maybe Karma for the one they took away at the beginning of Nuke. To balance all of the forces. They fail to k keep on and force their way to get the second round. <laughs> Try to fill in the dead air here. Apologies. Hopefully everyone's having a good day here. Willing to participate and watch our matches going on. And listen to me pointlessly ramble about. Seems Vortex might be having a technical timeout. Maybe more prevalent issues in play here as we continue waiting. However, no time I think will be enough here for Team Vortex to be able to adjust to Revenge GG here. As they're still down 1-5 to five with no sign of being able to respond so far. All fates pointing towards a quick 2-0 for Revenge GG to take away their map pick. However, that said, Dust 2 is a volatile map and tides can turn. As well as whenever one wills it. Aim will be an important factor as we continue on here. And this long duel will certainly be an important part of it here as they try to recontest. Long control able to be kept this time around. Wartex able to hold it off early. However, the meanwhile, short's been given up and taken by Revenge GG. Tonal's control also successfully maintained. Do not know any place for you to get a currently up-to-date bracket. However, you'll be able to see it at the intermission after the end of this match, and I can help give you information then. Where, as we continue, it seems like a default amount of map control and presence here. Looks like a setup for a B split here, or at least the pressure rotates here. They throw nades towards both these sites, cause pressure, and have the CTs more stacked towards this mid position here. Be up to long home. This is a lower bracket game, to give more information. Whichever so, with the current situation, Team Vortex are one map away from getting eliminated from this tournament. However, with that, their first opening has been found, and even though Zulu's gotten a trade, Longholm has responded, be up to Fruitly to try to hold on to the site, able to find the first, not able to get a second, 2v3 situation here, Strez is able to save his teammate just in time, and clear the cross, little utility to stop a push from coming in, both CTs deciding to push from tunnels here, Strez being the higher HP player here, it'll be important for him to find these frags here, to catch the openings here, and able to take down the first, Party will be able to respond and trade him out, leaving Regan in a 1v1. Party will be able to take him down, having enough HP and Team Vortex have their second round. Hurt. 
With that, only a single op able to be converted over. With the winning the winning cash will be a lot less than the loss bonus. Because you see a lot weaker weaponry like M4s and FAMASs. Or rather, FAMASs and MP9s. Meant to say. Though, at three M4s are able to be brought out. For lower utility, Revenge GG might be able to get them burnt through here. However, it looks like a fast B split rush being set up here. Outside CT, already in control of Team Revenge here, and they're already able to find a pick onto one, and Regan finding a second here. B site already under their control with a man advantage. And with this being the situation, Revenge GG able to slip a six immediately away from Team Vortex in response to their second round. With this, Team Vortex already sent towards a save. So it's a almost impossible retake to do, but also at the same time, since we're forced into, then Seam going aggressive looking for a pick. Gets instantly punished by Freza. And that's the op down. Party's got to take a risk and contest against T's now. Try to get this rifle back. Able to dodge the flashbang and get one in response. However, this op still not yet in his control, and Freza able to deny it. Leaving De Niro the only player now left alive. The economy getting destroyed from Team Vortex here as Regan's taken him down. Be no weapon safe for Team Retex after them going going down. See how things continue on here. So it's an Eco forced it in the hands of Team Wartex after Revenge GG strap, stripped the guns from them. With that being the case, then GG's dominance gets stronger and stronger. Longholm able to hold an off angle and get one here, and Brutally able to trade the second. Our tag with the op able to get info and present able to get the second shot to take him down. CTs of Seam trying to pick up an AK here will be able to do so. Zulu will respond and take him down. Armor keeping him protected and finding a second after the op shots missed. Holding towards top mid in case it's a long push. We respond to the last player, De Niro. And Freza will be able to be the one to take him out. Leaving Ben GG up 7 to 2. From that vantage. Team Wartex taking a risk. Their economy. Just as weak as ever, but even weaker still with the double ops purchased up with all the money they've collected. Need to have impact with these ops to be able to keep both of them alive to be able to continue having impact with them. Even if they are able to win a round off of it here. These mollies are coming out too late here. Openings able to get found. Trading two and two even, leaving just the offer. And with the flashbangs, info able to get seen and should be able to see him crossing to the site here and taking him out. Zippy low on HP, but he could get taken out here if Fruitly can find a timing on him. Or long home. For with the situation, Shoopy's making sure to help hold a flank and pass positions held by these CTs. Only a minute 13 left on the clock now. Able to double re-smoke and make sure angles block. However, it looks like smokes are bad. However, last smoke's able to be used to adjust correctly. Nade will be able to take down Snippy's lowest HP. Flashbang's red, however, and Shibi responds, taking him out. Molly does deny the bomb plant here, however, Fruitly left in difficult 1v2. Has to try to pull a Kaylee here if he wants to take down the first player. Might be able to find a contact on to Freza here. However, with that Molly leaving him stuck in this corner here, Freza is able to tag him down. The Deagle keeps him trapped here as Shibi rushes him down with the AK. And with that, Revenge GG are up to 8 to 2. Yeah, I believe I'll be covering the uh, the other flight semifinal. Was the one I calmed because I've commentated both those teams so far. Should be able to find an opening as we're stuck in an eco situation, just eagles and a scout.
And with that, Dinero's been in party able to find two in the process. Now just a 2v2 situation here. How are Zulu and Regan able to rebalance the situation from the three picks that have quickly been collected? And recover and get Revenge GG, their ninth here. And no sign of stopping as we continue here. Revenge GG making a show out of Team Vortex. Confidence with their aim here and maybe sending them out of the tournament very early here. See what happens here as it's another long take that's been successfully taken. No damage exchanged this time around. Not even any mollies to try to contest towards long here. Up to Dinero trying to anchor towards Car with an AUG. Nade will not connect. However, he is stuck in this position as a molly comes out. And Shubi able to take him, leaving Dinero isolated in this position known. Shubi takes him out to have a second. Seen good playing around the smoke. Party's able to find one, leaving it a three on three situation. Regan getting half heavily tagged down due to the nade here. Trying to play around the smokes here. Both teams here and able to find a head. Regan to find his own frag. And with the gap in the smoke, Regan to find a second here, leaving, leaving Fruitly and a 1v3 to try to retake from short here. Just to get Wartex a third round if he decides to go for this. With that first shot missing, Frazier known flashbangs and smoke to take him off the angle. And already a rotate starting to head towards behind him with Reza here with the op. Fruitly is aware of this possibility, he's able to get into the tunnel in time. We'll see what happens here. Zulu is quickly rotated towards the B site here, aware of the possibility. Be able to dodge the shot here. Everyone haunting to try to take this offer down. See. Tossing a Glock and just jumping towards him here. Waiting. Both of his teammates now with him. Vinci G able to afford this. Just able to deny the off from being held on. Team Vortex cannot have anything in their favor. As Vinci G takes everything away from them. Round after round. And with that, Vortex only with two rounds so far. Vinci G in a situation to look to have a confident 13-2 half as we continue here. Tex in best case situation might be able to get a third round before the end of the first half, which is not a situation you want to be on going into your T-side and Dust 2. This map may be T-side, but not on this level of dominance. Be hard to see what Vortex can do after this happens. Fruitly trying to go aggressive, pushing through a smoke despite knowing a player is there, gets punished immediately by Shubi. Dinero trying to hold the long doors, mostly single-handedly. Molly will push him off the position. A little bit of harassment will be found with the deal here. Her Regal, Regan's been able to find party, leaving just the two mid players. Long home with a good deagle shot. However, it will be to little avail here as all four players are setting up. Mostly towards the A site here, with the exception of Shuby, which is aware of the possibility of CT's pushing, able to take down the first. Leaving Longholm left alone, able to find the off from this T side. However, Regan's been conscious of the possibility that they were pushing together and takes him down safely. Revenge GG up 11 to 2 on their map pick of DE Dust 2 on the T side. On the second map, after taking away Vortex's map pick of Nuke, 16 to 9 here. With that being the case, Brez has found an initial contact on what could be the last full buy of this half here for Team Vortex, leaving only four left alive here. Three will be able to be leaning towards this A site here, and Nate could do heavy damage, bringing all players down to half. If Team Vortex has a chance, it is now against this execute here. He should be able to push through the smokes here and finds the first here, sticking straight for the bomb plant. Sime able to find one. Bomb plant able to safely go down. Sulu taking down the team. Fluffy able to take down with a second nade onto Shuby. Crazy's position's known. Fruitly fails to connect the shot here. Deagle to take him down. The only chance Team Vortex had of their third round taken away from them. 
within GG, plays two well with these executes, adjusting the T Vortex. And looks like little gas is left in the tank here as Team Vortex force what they can. Likely to whimper through this last round as Revenge GG take away their 13th here. To come three rounds away from taking away the series in a 2-0 fashion to bring them further in the lower bracket here. Be a sad way for Team Vortex as they get taken out like a shooting gallery, able to make it a little bit close here. Really left in a 1v2 situation here, but stuck with just an MP9 here. With it, risky open plant, however, no opportunity able to be found here. Really be able to upgrade to an AK here, at least giving him a chance here in this 1v2. He uses a single flashbang here, needs to take Regan out first. Regan able to dodge the harassment and take him out. Revenge. GG are three rounds away from moving on in the lower bracket and eliminating Team Vortex from Season 7 of Phoenix League here. Going to the CT side next for Revenge GG here. With the little chances left remaining the upper team Vortex to take a risk and they're deciding a B rush will be the play. A single player towards Long to maybe serve as bait. Or it'll be up to Regan once again as the key player here to hold on to this B site. Able to stay alive for quite a while just now being taken out. Reza able to see one of these players takes him down with Zulu. Reza with a second not connecting the third. However Long holds the le last left alive in a 1v2 situation here. Both CTs left low. And she'd be finding a deagle with this armor, would be able to tag Longholm down even if Stimpy doesn't find this kill here. However, Stimpy's able to quickly respond, take him out, and revenge GG, take away the pistol. And revenge GG now only two rounds away in this series soon. Be sure to provide series updates and information to keep up to date as we continue on with this tournament after this match has concluded, so please stay tuned for that. See what's moving on. Frizz it failing to get the first tag. Be able to connect the second with the philosopher Rasmin here. Seem trying to stop the top mid push here. Punishing Shuby for his aggression here. However, still having to smoke off top mid. And Sulu finds the bomb carrier through the smoke. Taking him down. Some insane deal shots coming here. Last moment from Team Vortex here. Slongo found an opening. Take down the scout. First man advantage for Team Vortex in a long time here. However, still a weapon disadvantage here with Zulu having the Moss in play. It's still a challenging situation here. Daenerys able to quickly take him out, trying to connect shots with the MP9. Stimpy left with 1v3. Vortex might be able to hold on just for at least a moment longer here. And seem finding some energy. And these deagles take away a round. Still 11 rounds behind Revenge GG on the CT side. The second round force would be a way to help. Revenge GG are going to respond with a force of their own to try to take them out early and break that confidence here. The aggression may be getting punished, trying to rush top mid here. Revenge GG, however, more proper play of a long take. Or with good spawns, Vortex has been able to take long way safely. They try to re-aggress. The first and second taken down, leave one remaining player. All three of them safely taken down, leaving just simply Stimpy and Shuby with just Deagles and armor. That seemed likely to get a open safe bomb plant down. Fight the nice shots, and will go for the aggression here. Stimpy able to trade him out, but now left in a 1v4 and a double Galil ding. From party, we'll be able to take him out. The Vortex holds on, not sure for how long here. Ben Shiji only two rounds away from eliminating them here. Have to be one hell of a comeback for Team Vortex to hold on. They'll have to do better and do 11 rounds in a row versus Revenge Shiji's 10 on the first map. For a good scout pick on the mid cross will be a good way to start it here. 
Her won't matter too much, as it's just a flashy frag, it's just USPs for the revenge GG side. As they push into the long push here openly, as Vortex GG tries to hold them down. Sim pushing through smokes, only able to get one. She was able to trade him out and take down one of the rifles. It's at least one weapon taken away from their hands. A little economy damage. So plenty of money's been built up by the dominance of Team Vortex over these last three rounds, starting with an eco conversion on a desperation force buy. Bert, with that, be the first round of true full M4s and weak utility for Revenge GG. Not able to contest long here, but adjusting by pushing short early and going to contest this position here. We can fail and connect the first here. However, playing with the teammate Zulu, they're both able to take one each. Successfully holding down short here, and Braze is pushing up mid here. Awkward position with one left in the tunnels here. However, he's able to win the duel against Party without any players coming in to punish. Holding off angle will deny the lower tunnels, leaving two players left alive to deny 15 from Revenge GG here. And Freza has the bomb under his control. Playing an off angle here to punish them as they try to take this bomb. Seems aware of the possibility, however, Freza catches the timing here. Fails to connect onto the shout scout to take him out. He tries to hold towards T-spawn here. Looks away just as he could have had an opening here. And all of these CTs starting to try to surround him here. Rudely with a good first shot here. However, still three CTs remaining from every single angle. And will fail to connect the quick scope. And Revenge GG one way around from the 2-0, eliminating Team Vortex here. With that situation likely to end soon here. Still another full buy for Team Vortex to try to contest here. However, situation still not favorable for them here. Let's see what they do here. They flash and go for the long rush once again. Volleyed off the position, Fruitly burned down without finding the early contact. And trade, Zulu and Shubi able to get one each. Party's able to get a 3k before getting taken out, leaving it to a 2v2 situation. However, that was the bomb also being dropped down in long with this 2v2 situation here. Leaving it up for the next contact here as Stimpy's able to take him down. Leaving Longhelm the last remaining player here against Freza and Stimpy as they hold towards the bomb on long. A minute left on the clock. There's at least time to work with here, however this series is looking done for us today. See as Longholm is taking his time. Making sure to do what he can here. No info towards the long position. Could be caught by surprise here with the off angle. And it is as Fresa safely takes him out and revenge GG. Take the series. 16-5 on the second map and 16-9. Dominant T sides from Revenge GG to take out Team Vortex as they move on here. The GG to both teams appreciated. Vortex Esports for getting this far. However, they are gone from the tournament now. As Revenge GG will continue on in the lower bracket as we can see here. Try to adjust us to the correct picture here. So everyone can see the playoffs. See, this bracket is mostly up to date, except for the match you just watched. Then GG will go to that bracket to go against the loser of the semifinal one of Bretonia and Flight. Vortex, G Vortex SE being eliminated. Double check what our next match is. Won't be today, but in a bit. To look into what the next situation will be for us. Looks like it will be matches on the 22nd on Friday. There will be two matches at 1800 GMT. I'll be covering Blue Racers versus Socially. As well, I believe someone else will be casting Bretonia versus Flight Esports as well, I hope. However, 
please stay tuned for us by both following us on Twitch and Twitter at Phoenix CS League. You want to keep up with anything I'm up to, as well as more ways to notify for matches of Phoenix CS League. Follow me at Trevor Fictress. Also, occasionally we'll do a stream or two on my own personal channel if you guys want to check me out there. Hopefully, everyone has enjoyed. Thank you for being here. Hope everyone's had a good time and enjoy their night. See you guys next time.